Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. I am Fahad from Motivated.com and today I am back with another amazing custom ROM video for our Redmi Note 11 users. And this time this is the latest version of Evolution X. Let me show you its Android details. As you can see here, it is based on the Android 13. Evolution X version is all the way latest 7.5 and Minodo and its security patch is also all the way latest 5 January 2023. So in this video I will be showing you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11 and I will also show you its full review and I will also show you what's uh, stable, what's working or what's not working in this ROM. Is it stable for daily usage and uh, so without any further ado let's get started. So first of all let's start from the camera. So in this room here we have this simple camera and you can only use ultra wide lens in this camera and you can use the 1x lens and you can also use the same lenses in the photo mode. You can only take photos, record basic videos and scan the documents and if you want uh, more advanced features like portrait mode and all other features then you can go for a gcam from google.co and other than that if you talk about the applications there are only few needed and uh, necessary applications are pre-installed right here like recorder is pre-installed right here safety application is pre-installed right here and uh, other than that from the left you can access the google and in the home screen here we have the evolution x launcher let me show you here we have the evolution x launcher settings from here you can make changes in the icon settings home screen settings App drive settings, recent applications, uh, recent settings. You can also enable this quick actions. Then we have suggestions and misc. In the misc, you can also use the hidden and protected applications. That's mean no need to download and install third party app lockers. And by the way, now you can simply switch the refresh rate right from your quick settings. From this toggle, right from here, you can set it to auto 60 hertz or 90 hertz. You can simply edit it out and add or remove the other shortcuts from the quick setting. So we also have the game space application right here and here we have some gaming tweaks right here. That's mean you can do gaming on it. The overall experience of this ROM is pretty much good. As you can see here the app opening speed is also pretty much well. It is opening the applications pretty much quickly. By the way the link of this wallpaper is in the description box. So now let me show you the Geekbench scores of this ROM. So it just scored 380 on single core and it scored 1451 on multi cores. Now let's go to the settings and have a look on the customizations. So first of all here we have the evolver right here. So in the customizations first of all we have the themes option right here. From here you can access the theming app, uh, settings. You can change the theme style right from here uh, to vibrant expressive. Let's try this one. Rainbow. Then we have the color source. You can uh, change the color source from both lock screen or wallpaper home screen. Then we have luminance, chroma and tint background options. Then we have dark theme right here. You can enable it as well. And uh, then we have cloak screen lock uh, font style. Let's try this one. And it just looks pretty much cool as well. You can use any of these. Oh, it looks pretty much cool now oh here we have another one i'm going to use this one because it looks pretty much cool then we have uh, the font option you can change the font style for your theme right from here then we have icon pack signal icon pack and other icon settings then we have status bar from here you can enable or disable the status bar lyric so right from here you can manage it out then we have cloak setting cloak and date you can also enable or disable the custom logo for the status bar you can change its position and you can also change the logo style let's try the xbox after it you can enable the uh, network indicator you can change the battery style battery percentage battery bar status bar icons then we have some other icon settings after it here we have notifications and in the notifications here we have in color vibrations then we have quick settings 
After it, here we have power menu, advanced reboot is available and a lot of short shortcuts can be enabled right from here to use from the power menu. So after it, here we have gestures, here we have system gestures. From here, you can quick tap to start action, which is one of my favorite. Uh, it is uh, selected on the take screenshot by default. Double tap on the back and it will take the screenshot automatically. Isn't it awesome? So after it here we have quickly open camera, system navigation bar, one handed board. You can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand. Press and hold power button, double tap to check. Let's see if it is working. It is not working. After it swipe three fingers for screenshot. Playback control by using volume buttons, prevent ringing and quick mute. After it here we have brightness slider over the status bar and some other gestures. Then we have clock screen, uh, sorry lock screen, here we have edge light right here and some other settings. Then we have button settings, from here you can manage the navigation bar and power button and volume button settings. Then we have the animations, from here you can access the screen off and power menu animation. Let's try 3D. Okay, it looks pretty much cool. but no one cares about it so after it here we have misc in the misc we have always on display schedule you can just turn it down or you can also schedule it out then we have parallel space which is a good feature you can simply tap and create your uh, new space then we have game space right here after it here we have smart pixel which will be helpful to reduce the battery consumption after it we have, we have music shortcut and you can also enable unlimited photo storage you can also unlock higher fps in games and you can also do the netflix spoof right from here these features are really awesome and you can also check the cpu info so this room is pretty much full of features so after it here we have network and connectivity then we have apps notifications battery the battery backup of this room is pretty much impressive use pixel battery uh, usage chart you can also use the battery saver adaptive preferences battery charge warning battery optimization and you can also check the uh, battery capacity and temperature as well then we have storage sound and vibration and in the sound and vibration here we have uh, live caption smart pause and uh, we also have the dolby atmos pre-installed right here and we also have the silent media mute so these are new features then we have display in the display we have all typical options from other rooms from here you can enable or disable the dark theme you can adjust the size of text and display you can use night uh, light and you can also enable the smooth display which, which will automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz for some content like gaming or uh, scrolling on social media but we don't have any option to set the minimum or maximum refresh rate but still this rom is pretty much smooth then we have wallpaper and style from here you can change the wallpaper by the way this wallpaper is uh, available for download in the description box then we have wallpaper colors you can use the uh, dark theme themed icons you can also set up the custom themed icons you can change upgrade system icon pack and you can also change the font style right from here then we have accessibility security now in the security all security options are available like screen locks are available and you can also use the face unlock and fingerprint at the same time as well so no need to be worried about the security in this room then we have google system in the system we have languages and input gestures so here we have the gestures that uh, we just explored earlier in the video then we have about phone section from here you can check your android version which is 13 evolution x version uh, 7.5 and its security patch is also all the way latest 5 January 2023. So the ROM is pretty much stable. There is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. Everything is just working fine. And this ROM can be used as your daily driver. So if you want to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 11, then you can simply download the ROM from the link in the description. And the installation instructions are also available in the same link. So hope you guys like this video. This was the video for today. So if you have any question or queries about this video, you can ask us in the comment section or you can also join us on the Telegram, Telegram group and channel link is in the description box. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.